Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. Yes, building Aquitania. And talking of Aquitania, look, look, it's over here. Sky's Aquitania. That's the map we're going to be using. This is going to be, I'm going to try and make this a very futuristic build. We're going to be focusing on the aesthetics in this. As opposed to the uh, the London build, where you know we're, we're kind of being very realistic about trying to trying to make it look exactly like London. Building London for all of you who are currently typing, where's London? When's the next London coming out? It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be out on Sunday, so you'll you'll be looking forward to that, I'm sure. Right, let's get on with this one. So let's uh, start a new game. We are going to be playing. I'm, I'm so ridiculously excited about this. Uh, we're going to be playing on the Aquitania map. Yes, and uh, let's call it. What are we going to call it? Well, we're going to call it Aquitania. Aquitania. There we go. Uh, which is, has, has become Aquitania with an I. When I started building the map, it was with an, with an A, but it's like that now. Uh, I'm going to use... Yeah, am I going to... I'm, you know what? I'm going to use right-handed traffic, I think. Am I going to use... A, yeah, I'm going to use right-handed traffic. What, what the hell? As you can see, we've got um, all the different natural resources in here. Tons and tons and tons and tons of water. Uh, and the buildable area is like 28%, which is kind of cool because I, I don't want this series to go on forever. So um, now and we're going to be using After Dark, of course, and I'm going to be showing off all the After Dark stuff in, uh, in this map. So it's going to be futuristic and it's going to be loads of After Dark stuff. That's what we're going to build. Let's do it. Right, so here we are. <laughs> I, I really am crazily excited. Um, now we've got this error, and I wanted to, I left this in deliberately because I wanted to show you. Um, this is for a, a medium elevated station that I've been trying out because London, the next London episode is all going to be about the DLR, and I'm working on uh, on that. We're having elevated stations in so uh, so there you go. It's like a little thing to get you excited about that right i'm i'm using the um the all unlocks mod so we've uh, we've unlocked all the uh, the 25 squares and it's unlocked uh, like monuments and all that kind of stuff it's excellent stuff uh but i'm not using unlimited money so we're gonna have to be careful of the money and here is the map and as you can see it's like waterfalls galore we've got the waterfalls here we've got all the waterfalls in the background and we've got the waterfalls over there as well. Oh, man, it's so exciting. Right. I, I'm, I'm going to try and turn over a new leaf. I'm, I'm going to try and like get stuff done as much as I can. So we're going to start off. I'm going to buy. Now, we've got 715,000 to spend. I'm going to buy a few tiles. So I'm going to buy this tile up here. That's 5,000. That gives us access to, the, uh, to this sort of um, cove, bay, whatever you want to call it. We'll take this tile here. 7,200 and we'll take this one up here which is another 8,100 so yeah we'll get that now you're probably wondering why I've like gone and bought that one well let me show you if I get out of here uh, it's for the water it's for the water it's all about the water now this map if I go to the to the water flow so you can see you can see that all the water is flowing down here and then it actually goes off the map goes goes out there right so this is kind of a great place to have our sewage outflow so what i'm going to do <clears throat> and i pop in a uh I'm gonna pop in a regular sewage outlet yeah where do i want it kind of i you know i'd like to kind of line the water pipe up with that so like i don't know about there ish and then uh, let's pause the game uh because um for, for one thing, I want to be building in the light. And, of course, we've got the after dark thing now. It's going to go dark. We'll see that. We'll see that. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Uh, and what else do I want to do? I want to put in a water pipe. So, oh, Now, before I do that, while I'm down here, I'm going to put in a wind turbine just to power this. These light up at night. They look really good. I'm kind of impressed. But you'll see, you'll see it soon. You'll see it soon. Right. So let's take, uh, let's take a... Yeah, have I lined it up with that? Yeah, kind of, sort of-ish. We're going to run this pipe, uh, you know what, I'm going to run it like right up to like about there, I think. There we go, cool. So, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got sewage at least. Now, where are we going to get our water from? Very, very good question. Now, there, um, there's kind of a few places we could get it from. Um, I'm thinking probably maybe here. You know, like, for now, I, mean, I could get it over here, or I could get it like over here, or I could even get it down here. I can get it from anywhere. 
There's so many places. You know what? I might. You know what? I might put it down here and just hook it onto this pipe because it's already there. Is that a good idea? Let's get a water pumping station. Uh, would you? Would you actually? Would it actually fit onto this pipe? Should be kind of nice. Boom! Done. How about that? All right. Cool. Now let's get some uh, some roads going so that we can get some commercial and stuff. Now I want to start up here because I I really like this bay. I think this bay is really nice, and we're going to try and do this kind of kind of nicely. So we're going to start off with uh, a bit of a dirt road, and I'll just point out uh, where is it? Is it that one? Look at this uh, two lane road with bicycle lanes. Oh yeah, one of the new road types in After Dark. You've got. Um, You've got uh, roads with bicycle lanes. You've got roads with bus lanes. And I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you all the after dark stuff in this series. Yeah, I'm going to come around kind of like that. Now, the idea is that there'll be houses. Uh, there won't be houses on the front because obviously that's the beach, right? So there'll just be houses around the back. So I just want to kind of clip the edge of the green as I'm going around. Catch a bit of the... Catch a bit of the beach as well but I want to kind of leave that little bit of green so I think it'll I think it'll look better yep yep I think this is gonna look good I think this is gonna look good and there's all kinds of new leisure stuff there's marinas it's all sorts of stuff for the water there's marinas there's um, jet ski hire all kinds of cool stuff we've got the new specializations there's two new specializations for commercial uh, we've got uh, Am I going to run it all the way around? I think I probably am. Um, we've got, let's see, we've got leisure and we've got tourism, which are kind of awesome source. Oh, cool. And we've got that going all the way around the outside. So we, we need to hook that up to, uh, to this. Now, here's our entrance highway. So the highway comes in here. Now, it does go off uh, across this bridge, and then it hooks up to another highway, which goes off... Uh, on that side, so uh, got to take that into consideration. But I think now we're going to do something fairly easy here. Now this is just looped round at this end, which kind of makes things pretty easy for us. Because I think what we'll do is just bang in. Uh, I, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to bang in a, a, a normal two-lane road, and we'll maybe change it later. Oh, it won't. Oh, it will. Oh, oh, will you? De yes, it will. Ha ha ha! That'll do. That'll do. Oh, will you? Oh, seriously? Oh, like, seriously, why is nothing ever freaking easy? Oh, man. You know, it, like, meh. There's no way a four-way four one will go in, is there? No, not a cat in hell's chance. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to demolish that. And uh, we'll put in a slightly bigger kind of bit. So, like, uh, if we, yeah, let's take the snap off. Make this easy. So, a bit of, bit of snap, just bring it out kind of like that. And yeah, that's a bit much like, yeah, like that. And then what happens if we link it up? There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Then we'll just take a two-lane road. And hook it up from there. We'll go freeform. And and I just want to kind of hook it up to like somewhere. Somewhere fairly central on here, I think. Like that. And there's going to be lots of curvy roads. There's not going to be too many straight roads in this. This is all going to be fairly curvy. Because like the map is kind of fairly curvy and stuff. Now, when we get up onto the central islands, it's going to be different. Because it's all geometric up there, and it's going to be there's going to be like oh, incredible futuristic buildings. The kind, let me show you the kind of buildings that we're going to be looking at are. Let's see, if I go to unique buildings now, where's all the super tall skyscrapers and stuff? Uh, I think yeah, no, uh, in there no. Oh, hang on, here you go. Like stuff like this. <laughs> oh yes. Um, this is a, a super futuristic building and there's it I think I would like to make this kind of an eclectic mix of the um, the super futuristic with um, like like the, the master race who are controlling this place maybe it's an alien race with uh, with human subservient uh, slaves 
was the word I was looking for. I don't. That's maybe the kind of thing. So we'll. I think we'll maybe have a mixture of the, like these futurist, like really tall futuristic buildings, where the uh, the overseers look over the human populace going about their business, and then maybe the human stuff is kind of like a little bit down and depressed or something. I don't know. We'll kind of see how it develops. But there are like some of these buildings are just like absolutely insanely awesome. I have shown some of these before, but. Like, I think it's worth showing these again because they are just fabulous models. Just incredible. All right, right. Enough of that. Like, let's get, let's get some stuff going. Um, so we've got this. Now, I'm going to have a mixture of, we're going to have some residential round here. Then we'll have a commercial, like a, a commercial strip up here. And then, I don't know, we might have some more residential coming along here. And then I'm thinking over here, we do some, we do some industry stuff so that it's got kind of access to the highway. Um, but like I'm looking at this and thinking yeah, how the hell am I going to hook up to the highway and really I could do with a another junction like a three-way junction uh, in there but like I you know what I think for now huh, I, I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like how can we make it easy for the industry industrial traffic to like get out onto the highway and I'm thinking, yeah, the best is going to be to put in a, a three-way junction, but I'm going to save the cash for now. So for now, what we're going to do, we're going to just replace this little bit here. Oh, why did I do that? I could have just freaking upgraded it. What an idiot. Let's, let's hook that back up there. All right, so I could have just upgraded it to four lane like that. So we'll have a bit of four lane there. And... What am I going to do? I think, yeah, you know, for now we'll just use two lanes. Oh, look, 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 bus and taxi lanes we've got and uh, all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. We'll see all those different road types. For now, for now, I think we'll just have something coming off here, like kind of this. Yeah, yeah, that'll work, I think. So we'll have that curving around there and... Uh, and then into into this kind of area over here. So, like that, that'll do for now. And you know what? We've got a lot of wood. So maybe we'll do maybe we'll do some woods over here. And again, I'm not going to make this like gridded and intense and whatever. So you know what? I'm going to put a few roads kind of into the woods. Maybe, uh, maybe maybe not like another one going up here. Yeah, do I do like do I link them together? That's the question. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Like that kind of thing, right? So we'll so we'll have some forestry going on over here. I think. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Right. How about a bit of uh, uh, how about a bit of zoning? Yes, about time. I hear you shout. Uh, so what what are we going to do? We're going to do industry, and I want my um, I want my large brush. I think. So we'll zone in. Like, yeah, let's just clip that bit there and around there and up here. So we've got the woods here. So this will be where hopefully they'll be getting the natural resources. And this is uh, forestry is a renewable source. So the trees will kind of regrow when they're cut down and stuff. And then maybe we'll kind of extend it a little bit up there. And then on this side where there aren't any trees, you'll get processing buildings so instead of the instead of the the tree farms you'll get the the lumber yards and stuff and the sawmills so let's have that like that so right we've got a bit of industry going on right cool 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 um now 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 let's have a look oh now one thing i wanted to show let's look at land value because look at this all of these coastal areas anywhere that's like by the water is instantly raised in value Right, so all of these we want to exploit. We want really like nice houses along all of these um, all of these coastal areas. So I think we might be doing some kind of individually tailored stuff. Although I have to say, look, you, this strip is only like right on the beach itself. Okay, it does extend like a little bit, but you know, like yeah, it kind of is what it is. I get yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it now and thinking, yeah, maybe I should have gone like a little bit tighter to the beach, but nah. Now, nah. we'll live. We'll live with what we've got. I think so. Let's get some of this um, zoned in, and then we can turn this on and actually start running it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zone in this part around the outside. Like I said, I might, I might end up moving this 
a bit closer, but we'll see. We'll see. I think we're going to end up having loads of uh, parks and stuff to increase the value and stuff anyway. So, yeah. Now, I want, like I said, I want a strip of commercial. Maybe I should put the strip of commercial in first. So, we'll have a strip of commercial coming up here. I'm going to extend it a little bit up here. Kind of like that. And get rid of these bits where I've overlapped. And then do the same round here. Now, that's probably... That's probably enough. We can we can always rebalance it if we need to. So let's uh, let's turn that. Oh, let's turn that all green. Where's that round there? There we go. I do, you know I do miss my beach cabanas from Sim City because they were just awesome to make the beaches look good. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what uh, what assets we can find to make our beaches look awesome in uh, in city skylines. Right, so we'll whiz that round there. Now we want to just change that to, yeah, okay, cool. All right, I, I might put, I'm, I don't know, I might put a little bit more uh, com beach commercial, another little block down here or something. Yeah, you know, now I've said it, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. How about we we put a little block over here? Bit more bit more commercial going on there cool alrighty uh, right so we've got that we've got that then we're going to need some services aren't we we're going to need some uh, we're going to need some power we're going to need some electricity now you know let's let's see what the like, what's the wind situation uh, estimated production six megawatts six Is any better anywhere Six. Nah, it's pretty much six everywhere. Five. So I don't know. I don't know. We. I think we'll. I think we'll start off with this, and we'll kind of figure it out. So how about actually? I'm. I'm thinking. How, well, how, like maybe. How about having one like down on the headland, and maybe like a couple of them. Could be. Could be quite cool. So how like how about if we had like one there. And then we maybe put one over there to kind of mirror it. I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. We'll see what that looks like. Now, that's already going to be connected to this. Um, do I need to hook up some power lines? I don't know. I guess we'll see how it grows. Now, the industry is going to need uh, a bit more power. And I think we'll give them their own power source. Like, I, like yeah, maybe we just plop one like right in the middle. What's the uh, what's the power on this? This is um, this is double. Now that costs twelve thousand. This one costs six thousand. Yeah, so it's just double. Oh, advanced wind turbine. That's, that's tempting. I think we'll go with a regular one. I think we'll go with a regular one. Yeah. Um, so you know what? Let's just let's just pop that in. So what are our costs gonna be? Let's uh, let's turn it on and see. So we've got power. We've got water. And I guess we'll find... Oh, 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 and power's on. And that's on. And Chirpy's turned off. Green energy is the best. I agree, Chirpy. You annoying little bird. <laughs> Alrighty, so are we going to get like our first people moving in? Ever? Shall I crank it up a bit? Right, so um, it's costing us like 49500 uh, but like, well, oh, oh, we've got some cars. We've got some cars moving. We've got, we've got cars. We've got trucks. Is anybody actually gonna like move in, build a house? Be kind of nice because we're losing like a thousand. Oh yeah, we've got houses. We've got houses. Right, let's pause it because we need some, uh, we need some water. So let's start extending our water pipes. So let's uh, take it from here, and. I guess it would make sense to kind of at least me to cover as much of that as possible. Let's bring it down like that, and then we we'll just do it in kind of sections like that around the outside. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. Should we do the other side? Yeah, kind of makes sense, I think. So let's go. Yeah, let's try to make best use of these pipes if we can. Around this side, bomb, bomb. How are we doing for cash? 
Well, I've still got quite a lot of cash left in actual fact, but we're going to need it for the services that we're going to need to put in. Right, I'm going to take that right down to right down to the end because we're going to put that uh, that uh, turbine on this side as well. Um, I'm wondering, like, do I put that turbine in? How expensive are those turbines? How much do they cost to run? They're only 80 a week, so I think we can afford to put the one in on, on this end as well. I guess it's like there. How's that going to look? We can upgrade them to the uh, to the improved ones later. I quite, you know, I quite like that. I quite like that, guys. Right, let's get our water going. Oh, I, I didn't put I didn't put one. I didn't put a wind turbine to power this, did I? Idiot! You idiot! See the boneheaded stuff hasn't gone away. Never will. Let's put that turbine kind of there. Cool, sweet. Now, the only problem is that these wind turbines are pretty damn noisy. And uh, the people who live here are not going to be very happy. So I'm just thinking, if we, let's just bring up the noise map. I'll show you. Uh, where's the... No, is the uh, that's not right. So these guys are going to be very unhappy. So I'm thinking we maybe change the tip of this to be uh, commercial. That might be a very, very good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I've got my brush up. So, commercial. It only needs to be like these four at the end. There we go. And we'll do the same on at this end. Yeah, probably, probably just, just these two at this end. Like, oh, come on, like that. And then, like we put, like I don't know whether we're leaving. I don't think we even need that bit there. So let's just swap that back. This, don't worry, guys. There's going to be lots of chopping and changing, me changing my mind and stuff. Right, so now let's crank that up and see. Do we grow a bit better now? We've got uh, we've got water. We've got power going on. Now, I do need to zone this in, this district over here, this industrial district. Oh, we've got our first bit of industry. Let's pause it for a second while I uh, do this district. No, that's too big. Let's take the medium one. So we want kind of like this kind of thing like that. There we go. Holly Square. I might even keep these names, but we'll see. Or you can suggest names. You can say, well, that forestry area, you should call it so-and-so trees or fields or something. Uh, we'll keep it as Holly Square, but uh, we want to change the specialization, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh... Oh, okay. and how do we change the specialization? Not like that, Sky. You do it by going over here and... Oh, oh, have we not got the... Oh, yes, we have. Here we go. With forestry. Or forestry. There we go. Click. Now it's now it's forestry. <laughs> God dear. Oh, man. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. Right, so now we've got a forestry specialization, which is sweet. So we'll turn this back on now. So this building here will probably disappear and get rebuilt. We are currently losing like 1700 a week. So we kind of desperately need people to, to start moving in. Now, we have an issue over here with the electricity because I got rid of these commercial ones, didn't I? So, yeah, let's pause that for a second. I'm going to have to just hook this up like that. There we go. So that will have reconnected. Yeah, but they're still complaining about water. So what have I what have I done wrong with the water, guys? We've got the water running around there. Comes up here. We've got that. Oh, is that is that saying that it's not connected? I think it's saying it's not connected. You know, is that saying it's not connected? I don't know. Let's let's check on it. What? Yeah, water pipe not connected. Damn it. Okay. And there was me being like thinking that I was being clever and I actually screwed it up. So let's just get rid of that water pipe and boom, boom. There we go. Cool. Okay, so now we should have water. That should encourage people to move in a bit quicker and to actually pay their taxes and stuff. Now, talking of taxes, let's go and do a bit of economy. So let's go to taxes. We'll crank this up to like, um, I think, 11% across the board. And I'll do I'll do the dense ones while I think about it because I'm bound to forget if I don't. Although you guys will remind me, I know you will. 
You're going to be all over me on this build. I know you are. You're going to be telling me all the new stuff about After Dark and whatever. Right. We've still not got water here. Let's pause it again. Like what? Okay. What have I got wrong now? Uh, this is producing. They, oh, they've gone. They've gone. I just haven't turned it on, had I? <laughs> and we're getting some commercial buildings. Should we have a little bit of a look? I'm going to be doing a lot more zooming in, guys, and showing you like the detail because, like I said, this is going to be all about the aesthetics. And you know what? Oh, look at that. And look at the, look at it lighting up because we're getting towards uh, we're getting towards night time. Let's slow it down and enjoy as look at the look at the windy highway, <laughs> the bridges and everything. Just look. Oh, and I think this was a good decision putting these here. That was a very good decision. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Right, oh, this needs water, doesn't it? Let's pause that. This needs water. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Let's uh, look some water like that. That. And that. There we go. Cool. Right, that should stimulate our industry. Uh, how are we doing? We're, 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 we're making... We're only losing less than a thousand now, which is good. And it is coming down. Right, let's get out of this and enjoy the enjoy all the nighttime views. One thing I love, and you'll see this more in the in the Building London series, because I, I, I like I've been working on the city. Um, you get these different colours between the main roads and the smaller roads, and it kind of like if you zoom out, you can kind of see where the main roads are, and it, it, you'll see it more on the London build. I think you'll really like it. Uh, right, what else are we going to do? What else are we going to do? Well, we're, we're, I'm kind of waiting for this to come up. 840 now. 837. We're headed in the right direction. I think we could do with probably a little bit more zoning and stuff. But we kind of need this to, like, develop a bit more. We're not getting many people moving in. It, it's starting to pick up a little bit. But, um, like, we don't have any services or anything at the moment. So, I guess it's going to... Right. You know what? Let, let's speed things up. We'll, I guess we'll have to enjoy, like, all the after-dark views and stuff later. We need to, uh, we need to crack on. Now, uh, for, for anybody who doesn't know, the, the day-night cycle um, lasts about... Like, a day lasts about a, just over a month. <laughs> Like, why they haven't changed this to be, like, hours or something, I have no idea. Look at all the new people moving in, moving into their houses. Oh, I'm liking this already. I'm liking how this is going. Now, I, I haven't got my extended zoom uh, mod enabled at the moment. I'll, I'll enable that for the next... Uh, for the next video or something so that we can actually zoom into to like to ground level but it is it is kind of nice to just kind of hover around and watch people going about their daily business and in this series I'm going to be paying like a lot more attention to the traffic and how the traffic is working and all that kind of stuff there's going to be a lot more zooming in a lot more paying attention to the little details now we just need this to kind of hook up to there. I'm just wondering like what's going on on the other side. There's a bit going on up here, but of course it's not connected by power yet to this. So I'm wondering, do we stimulate things? Oh, we're in profit. We're in profit. Oh my lord. How about that? This is starting to extend down here. Um but really could use some of these buildings to actually build down here. Now, I'll tell you what I could do. I think I've got my... Oh, I've got this mod enabled. So I could put one of these houses down here, for example. And help this to uh, to grow down here. But we need a bit of commercial. And we, uh, we don't have any commercial. So, you know what? I'll copy one of these buildings. T to copy that. Pop that over there. 
Boom. Now, is that going to be enough? Yes! That's hooked up all of our electricity up on this side. Peachy. And suddenly, everything is starting to work. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Uh, so, loving it. We've got, we've got plenty of power, I would think. Let's have a look. So, power. Yeah, we've got tons of power. How are we doing for water? Yeah, we've got loads of water and sewage. Awesome. We need to start putting in some of our other services then. Oh, but we've got a little community. And you can see, like, right from the beginning, I'm not doing, like, little, you know, grids and doing stuff that's not going to, like, work long term or whatever. I want to be doing that, like, right from the beginning. This is starting to come round. We get some more commercial going. I think we are. I think we are. This is into... This is still resident. Oh, we're almost... I think this is the edge of the commercial. Here. Let's, let's find out. Yeah, I was right. So we need some more commercial going on. Oh, okay. Pause. Right. Over here, they are starting to complain about crime and sewage and dead people. So we've got to put in a whole bunch of services now. So, oh. now crime is the it's kind of, crime is the big thing in After Dark. It's the kind of the big new thing because before uh, in the in the vanilla game, crime just didn't matter. It just really, really did not matter at all. So we need to put in some services. Now it matters. Now the crime rate is is a lot bigger. And uh, where are we going to put? We need to put some of this stuff in. I'm thinking. I think we want this kind of stuff like fairly central. I don't know, maybe maybe we put it kind of here. So let's have a police station there. Now, what, now what's that? If we put it there, like, what's the coverage? Like, how far does it extend? The answer is not very far. Jesus. Uh, now, what, is this, what does this cost us? This is the, oh, this is the UK police station. We've also got the regular police station. Now, it's got a patrol car capacity of 10. Or we could go for the police headquarters, but that's like sixteen hundred a week. We can't afford that. This is four eighty a week. What's the coverage like from that? See, the coverage doesn't extend very far, does it? See, like, like really, we could do with like one on that side and and one on that side. But Jesus, that's like way too much. So you know what? We'll put um, we'll put a police station in there. Well, I'm not going to procrastinate too much. Uh, we'll get a... Uh, well, that's the UK medical practice. We're not going to use that. We're going to use a regular medical clinic. Let's pop that in. Let's pop that in there. So we've got, we've got a clinic going on. We've got, uh, we've got police to try and start to help with our crime situation, which would be nice. Uh, what else do we need? We need uh, garbage. Garbage is going to be the big thing. Now, where on earth... Are we going to put our garbage? Oh, man. Like, where would you put garbage, guys? If you were doing this, where would you put your garbage? I think for now, maybe we have our garbage kind of in here. That's what I'm thinking. Now, an incineration plant is like uh, 1400 a week, which is a hell of a lot. So I think we'll start off with just a landfill site. So how about a landfill site here, hidden in the trees? Is that a good plan? Yeah, let's do that. So we've got, uh, we've got the garbage going on. We've got medical. We need uh, something for dead people. Now, I think I'm going to go, because I still have an issue with the whole dead people thing, so I'm going to use the cheaty super crematorium. Oh, hell yeah. And we'll have a super crematorium. I think I'm going to put all the services together, like, like down here. Yeah. How much does that cost to run? Oh, the super crematorium is like 5,000. Okay, well, we're not doing that straight away. In that case, we'll go with um, we'll go with a regular crematorium, I suppose. Uh, a regular cemetery. Uh, I, you know, I'd like this on a, like a side road. You know, I'm going to put it on a little side road or something off here. Let's, let's put in a, like a little side road off here, and we'll have the cemetery tucked away up there. Where's the cemetery? Here we go. Cemetery, and we'll just put it up there for now. Boom. All right, cool. It's got the, got the little church on it and stuff. Cool. Right, have we addressed uh, all of our needs? No, we need fire. So let's put in... Uh, that's the Stansted Airport one. That's that's 800 a week. That's the UK. This has got a uh, capacity, fire engine capacity of 10. 
which is pretty good. But I think we're going to need like two of these. So I'm thinking we maybe put in like a regular firehouse down here. What's the coverage like? Yeah, not fantastic. And But I think we're going to need another one up here because look how red these are. And I'm thinking we maybe go... No, no, for now, for now we'll put a regular one in. But, I, you know, I think ultimately we might upgrade to a Stansted. How does the Stansted one look? The Stansted one looks so much better, I think. Yeah, like, what the hell? I'm, I'm going to go for a Stansted one. Right, let's see what that does to our costs. Because I think our costs are going to escalate a little bit now. Uh, and, and we're getting crime up here as well. So we may end up having to put a... A fire station up here and another clinic up here and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we've got water issues going on up here. So let's extend the pipe up here. And there we go. Cool. Alrighty. Did I zone? Yeah, I did zone up to the end. Excellent. Right, so we're now losing a thousand a week again. But that's coming down and it's coming down quite rapidly. This is complaining about a lack of workers. Now, we haven't put any education in yet, but we'll kind of get to that. Uh, these need to be connected up to the electricity, and they're almost, almost there. Come on, are you going to, like, build one more and hook up? Oh, come on. Yes, 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 we're hooked up. Excellent. So all of this is now hooked up. This isn't, though, this one over here. So I think what we'll try and do is we'll try and get it hooked up. So how about if we put in some residential up here and up there and see if we can't get that to just fill in rather than spending money on power lines. I mean, we, we have got 500,000 to spend though. I mean, to be fair. And I don't know. We might, we might end up putting in some more residential up there and up there. There we go. Although I'm thinking, you know, like, yeah, commercial. I, I may extend the commercial up here a bit or whatever, but we'll see. Okay, cool. We are getting there. We are getting there. Now, this is the only thing about building at night, and this is why I'm, I was never that bothered about the day-night cycle, is that it's just, like, basically a pain in the ass to see, like, like whatever's going on when it's night time. I don't like building at night time. And the night lasts such a long time in the game. I, like, there needs to be a button to just switch between day and night mode. Well, we've got this burning down over here. Cool. Should we go some, Oh, I was, gonna, I was actually going to go and watch the firemen for once. We got any other fires? Isn't it, there's never a fire when you want one. Okay, we need some more water up here. So, let's uh, switch to water, the water view. I'll do a little bit of a pipe extension up there excellent uh, we need a bit of a pipe extension up here as well uh, like that kind of thing right now we're running out of electricity don't let's go let's look at our electricity well we've got electricity available well, we're at 22 out of 37. Ah, but you know why? You know why? It's because um, we've got excess power uh, up here with these generators, but they're not connected to this area. That's what it is. That's what it is. So I'm thinking maybe we take out these and put in the, um, the boosted up advanced wind turbines yeah we've got the money we can afford it like what the hell and they do look pretty cool so uh what do i want to do i want to demolish that don't i yeah i do so let's demolish that yeah demolish that yeah you know i'm going to take out this uh I'm, yeah i'm going to dezone that last one because it, it's too close to the wind turbine for me so yeah let's just uh get rid of that one there we go right more come on get on with it so let's have a, an advanced wind turbine oh oh that, of course they go on the water don't they the hell was i thinking about oh 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 hell yeah oh yeah that's even better 
Now, now, how are we going to hook these up? Like, like, do we put it, like, really close to the shore? I think we put it close to the shore, like, at the entrance there. Like that. How does that look? How does that look? Ooh, yeah, I like that. I like that straight away. Yeah, we're doing the same thing over here. I, you know, we, I, I kind of wish I hadn't demolished the other ones. Because we could have kept both. I'm going to do... I'm going to have both. So we're going to have those on the land. So let's have that, like, there. And this one, like, there, right? And we'll have the advanced ones, like, in front. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. And look, look at the, how strong the current is, the water coming down here. We've got it on three times speed, though, so, like, if you, if you slow it down, it's not quite so. Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe this should be a bit further out. I, like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that should be a bit further out. Or maybe have them like across the front here or something. I don't know. But like I, I can't say I'm like a hundred percent happy. Relocate building. Uh, how much does it cost to relocate? Doesn't say. Relocate. Like if we, if we take it like a bit further out, would that look better. Oops. I, well, I didn't mean to put it there, but I'll live with it. Is that is that connected? Yeah, it's connected. Oh yeah, maybe, well maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. All right, so our little community is coming along. We've um, we've got all of our basic services. Let's have a quick look and see how we're doing. We have electricity, that's looking good. We've got water, that's looking good. Garbage, yes, garbage is fine. It's being satisfied by the uh, by the landfill, which is up there. That's beautiful. We've got. Uh, we've got health. We've got no crematorium available, but we've got cemeteries. We've got three people who've now been buried. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're up to 1,200 people. We are making a profit. We're making a profit of 700 a week. Good Lord. Wonders will never cease. We need more residential and more commercial. Right, you know what? Let's get, let's get a bit more zoning going then. Let's develop our little community. So let's bang in some some roads. Now, we've got this dirt road around the front. And I think the dirt road kind of looks good at the moment. But we may end up upgrading it later. Uh, I'm thinking we start to extend our community. Da, da, da. The music starts to get very stirring. Right, let's have a road that comes out like... You know what? I'm going to bring it out relatively straight-ish to kind of down here. Then, let's have a road that goes round the cliffs, like this kind of thing. And see, it's blooming night time again. Right, now we, we don't own this bit of land here, so I, I, like for now I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to hook that up to that there. And then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll fill this in eventually, I would guess. Uh, in some way, shape or form. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Uh, like, like, would we have another road coming off there? Up to, up to here, maybe? Like that. And then... Maybe a road through there. And then... I don't know. I don't know, what are you looking at me for? Um... I, I don't have all the answers. So I'm thinking something like that. So let's just zone that in, I think. Now, am I going to zone it in like in one go? Eh, I probably am. Probably am. Zoning in large, like really big chunks is like kind of a bad idea because you get like the, the spikes where you get lots of people all dying at the same time, which is generally not a good thing. Right, we need to... Um, let's Let's pause that while I just run some water pipes around here. Let's take a water pipe off that corner. Run it up here. Along here. Uh, let's follow the road a bit closer. Boom, boom. Boom. And same. Uh, like this. Yeah, where am I going to hook it up to? Hook it up to there and there and there. Cool. Alrighty. Okay, so we can get that going. 
Now, I, I, I must admit, I haven't been, um, like, focusing on um, all of the mods that perhaps I should. Because, like, I'm sitting here now and thinking, hmm, I wonder if there's a mod to allow you to turn off the lights on certain sections of road. Because I think that would be a really nice idea. I bet somebody's already done it. If you know of an asset that, uh, uh, sorry, a mod that does that. Oh, 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 oh you know what? I'm going to watch this fire. We've got a fire at night. Spectacular. Where is our fire service? Let's see if the fire service actually turn up and deal with it. Yeah, so if you if you know of a mod that does that, let me know. I, I'm thinking we definitely can have some wind farms going on with all the water that we've got. Would make a lot of sense. We're up to making... Uh, we're making 450 an hour. Sorry, an hour. 450 a week. Here's the fire brigade. Here they come with the hoses. They've uh, finished working on their latest Gaviscon advert. Not everybody will understand that, but people in the UK will. Yeah, they've finished working on the Gaviscon advert, and they're now uh, working here in in uh, City Skylines. Right, this is all starting to fill in pretty nicely. Oh, well, we've got electricity problems over there. And again, this is because... Uh, we've got, like, if we look at this, we've, we've got enough power, but it's the distribution of power, I think, that's causing the problem. So, like, maybe we should think about actually hooking these up. I think that would be a good idea. So let's do it. Let's hook this up. And when we've hooked this up, I want to take a look at the tra traffic and see, like, how the traffic is doing. So let's just, like, hook that up to there. And then just bring it down to there. Right. And now, with a bit of luck, we should find, yeah, that this is all happy again because we're sharing power across the entire grid. Awesome source. We've got a fire going on there. Well, no surprises. How's our, uh, how's our forestry doing? And look, you can kind of see that in this, in this area where there are trees, it's mostly these tree farms. And then over here where there were no trees, you just get these... Um, these production buildings like sawmills and lumber yards. There's a lumber company, lumber mill. Original wood products. Probably making fat for stuff for IKEA. I'll bet you that. Bet you. Uh, what's this? Lumber company and pellet fuels. So they're chopping it up and, and selling it as little bits of wood. Why not? All right, cool. <laughs> There's going to be lots of nonsense talked in this series. Trust me. Let's have a little bit of a look at it. Look at look how this turned out. I think this turned out really, really good. Because like when you're down at like this level, you got it just like going up into the cliffs. Reminds me of like what like yeah, I don't know like some of the Italian coast or um, maybe Southern California or something. Oh man, I can't wait to get up here. I'm just like at the moment kind of waiting for the, the, the like the thing to settle down and grow up. We're up to uh, we're up to. We're just about to hit a thousand a month now. So what do we need? We need a bit more commercial. Cool. Cool. I don't mind doing a bit more commercial. What I'm 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 actually going to extend the commercial up here. I want to do a I want to do a commercial bit like at this crossroads. Would be kind of nice. Um you know what? Let's let's dezone like uh that. And then we'll rezone it as uh, as commercial. And um, that yeah, let's just take that out. Cool. Because I, I I like commercial at crossroads. I think it kind of looks right. Cool. That's all building in. How's our traffic going? Well, obviously the, there's. Um, there's a fair amount of traffic coming down here, but we're, we're coping with it at the moment. We've got this uh, this little junction up here. Now, ultimately, like I said, I want the uh, the traffic coming in from this industrial area to have its own junction and to be coming straight onto the, the highway over here rather than using this. But we'll also have a road which goes from here down into the residential area so that the people who want to get to work are using this route and then the, the goods trucks that are shipping the goods out are going that way that kind of balances the traffic so there's that's kind of a bit of a tip when you're doing industrial areas 
You know, you want your goods going out one way and your people coming to work another way. Currently, that everybody's having to share this one road, and that's going to get like pretty congested pretty quickly. So, and yeah, you know what? Having said that, having said that, I'm going to take a road, and uh, let's kind of take it like that, and we'll run a road up here like that. There we go. Right. So now the people going to work, all the cars, can actually take this road. And then it means the commercial lorries and stuff can uh, can use that road, which should ease any potential congestion. Although they um, they're still going to have to come down this road when they're delivering to these commercial areas. So ultimately, I think we'll be upgrading this to a four lane road because it should be. Let's let's face it, it should be. We're up to uh, we're up to seventeen hundred now, guys. Going, it, this is going to go, I think, relatively quickly. Right, we need to extend our water a bit. So let's uh, let's extend this water uh, from this corner here, right, just down there. Shall we? Um, a bit. Yeah, we, we we need some industry. We need more commercial. I'm surprised at the commercial demand. I didn't think we'd want that much, but hey, it's all good news. So let's zone in another block. Yeah, a bit more. Another block of uh, industrial. Now that's going to be outside the the forestry area. Oh, why hasn't why hasn't that zoned? There we go. That's going to be outside the forestry area. So we should probably should we extend it? What do you think? Should we extend it? Yeah, go on. Let's extend it. Let's extend it like that. There we go. And we'll continue to extend this. I think this is this is going to be permanently like a little industrial area going on down here. I think we're going to do a lot of renewable stuff. I mean, this is supposed to be futuristic. So we'll have a lot of renewable stuff going on. There's loads of trees over all the islands, so you can do loads of forestry and whatever. And uh, there's... Oh, there. I'll, I'll mention this now. There is a new policy. Um, oh, what the hell did I do that for? There is a new policy. Uh, I want it in the city policies, don't I? Um, that's the... What's it? Where's city? Po That's city policies. Good dear. Uh, if we go into city planning, there's a new thing. It's not that. Where's its services? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. School's out. Um, your citizens will prefer working over education, and only a small portion of the eligible citizens will go to study in the university. And what that is for is if you want to do like a big farming thing, or even a little farming thing where you have a farming community, and you don't want them to become overeducated so that there's never anybody available to work on the farms, um, you can implement that policy, which I think is awesome. I'm really glad that they did that. I must admit, that, that was a surprise to me. I didn't realise that was in there uh, until I actually kind of got in. Right. <clears throat> so, After Dark. What, like, what, what can I tell you about After Dark? I'm sure most of you know, but I think a few of you probably don't. After Dark is, is split into two parts. Part of it is a free update. The day-night cycle uh, is part of the free update, for example. Uh, and the... Um, the roads, so that the roads with uh, bicycle lanes and the roads with um, bus lanes, stuff like that, like infrastructural stuff, the is is all included in the free update, along with I think it's 72 new buildings. Uh, all the crime mechanics are included. For After Dark, the the paid expansion, it's a bunch more content. It's um, the additional. Um, commercial specializations of leisure and tourism oops that, and there's tourism they're in the paid expansion along with a bunch of uh, a new bunch of buildings for the paid expansion and what is oh and prisons if we go to where's where's here we go prisons this is the prison over here and what happens with the crime i get let me explain how the crime works i started telling you about the crime so the crime has been increased so there's more crime that goes on. And what happens is that when a criminal gets arrested, he gets taken to the local police station. Is this the police station? No, it's the medical clinic. He gets taken. Here's the police station. He gets taken to the police station. And this has a jail. Here we go. Criminals in holding cells. 11 out of 20. So they get locked up in there. But 
there's no kind of rehabilitation that goes on in police stations so that when they leave they will pretty much immediately go out and commit another crime in order to get rehabilitation you need to have prisons so I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of where can I put this where you can actually kind of sort of see it um, yeah here's the prison and as you can see it's quite a big quite a big building but when the when the prisoners are sent to here from the jails uh, the local prison jails uh, the the local jails at the police station you knew what I meant when they get sent to the prison then they'll be uh, when they're released from there they'll be rehabilitated and th there is actually another uh, city policy which I'll show you which is harsh prison sentences the prison sentences are twice as long as usual and the harsh verdicts keep the worst felons off the streets for longer double the usual prison sentences and that reduces the overall crime rate because people are afraid to commit crimes because they're going to be locked up for so long how are things going I'm just like letting things settle down it looks like for the level of um, residential we've got we can afford to put in like some more commercial we've got good commercial demand so what I'm gonna do is go to zoning and we'll dezone this and we'll throw in some more commercial like probably up to there let's say uh, how are we doing for water yeah we've got water coverage all over there that looks pretty sweet Okay, um, am I going to put in some more residential? I think I probably am. Uh, how about we some... Oh, what a... What a maroon. That's... I would have sworn that was... See, it wasn't, it wasn't on residential. Let's zone like up there. And then unzone that bit. There we go. Right, let's check the water again. Yeah, now I need to throw some pipes in. I, I, I must admit, I do like beginning a new city. Something kind of exciting about beginning a new city, isn't it? I mean, ultimately, we'll kind of hook this up um, and we can maybe get rid of some of these unsightly electricity pylons, which would be kind of nice. And we want to start, I, I do want to start expanding fairly rapidly and get over to some of these a other areas and start doing some other stuff. And I'm going to be hunting around. Oh, man, we're, we're out of electricity again is that like yeah we need more electricity good lord let's put in another one of these rather sexy advanced turbines and i'd like to kind of balance this up if i can so we'd want it about there wouldn't we about there there yep that's that's pretty much balanced but let's have a look at that so yes nice How, what's that done for our uh, electricity supplies yeah now we've got plenty of electricity again we'll double check on like water oh we're coming to the limits of our water uh, uh garbage uh, we're filling up the landfill but it's still okay health is fine as far as cemeteries how about the how about the hospitals Healthcare. yeah we've got loads okay things are looking pretty good fire services we could do with some more fire coverage. The, I, I think the fire coverage should be bigger on these. Don't you like? Don't you think? We're making two and a half thousand at the moment. I think we might put in another fire station somewhere to try and improve things a little bit. Uh, we'll go with like a uh, which one? Regular regular firehouse. Let's put a regular firehouse maybe over here. Right there. Yeah, I'll make lots of people happy, which is always a good thing. Uh, I do need to start thinking about putting some parks and stuff like that and levelling some of these areas up. Uh, police is looking good. We've got plenty of jail availability. We've only got... Yeah, we've got about half the criminals locked up. Or, or half our jail space occupied by criminals is what I meant to say. Primary schools. Now, do we start getting some primary schools going? And the answer is yes, we should. Let's bang in. Let's start getting some educated people. So let's bang in a primary school like over there and start that process going. Start to educate our population, slowly but surely. Uh, the, edu uh, the, uh, the industry is going okay. We're starting to get more commercial and a bit more demand for this. Um, we, can, we can probably extend this a little bit and get a bit more going on. So how about if... Uh, how about if we extend this kind of up there and I don't know maybe we have a 
the spur off here as well. Like that. Cool. And I've done that with, like, what roads have I used? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I, I've got to start paying more attention to what I'm doing. Don't you think? Um, what, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to upgrade these. Oh, but it won't, it won't switch to... Oh, you seriously, I can't upgrade those roads. Oh, yeah, I can. It works a hell of a lot better if you use the right mouse button. Which is the left mouse button in this instance. Right, let's uh, let's crank up some water pipes. Let's just bang that across there and bang that one up there. That'll do. Uh, electricity should hook up. That's not a problem. All right, cool. And it's going to it's going to night time again. Oh, this is all starting to look very pretty at night. Look at all the lights around the bay. I think we're definitely going to have some marinas and stuff going on in here. Uh, we, now, now, a lot of this stuff is going to be in parks and stuff. Now, oh, oh man. Um, you know what, I'm not going to go into this, but there is huge potential to use some of these amazing futuristic bridges. Uh, like, like, uh, not that one. Uh, where's the where's the really like super awesome one? Uh, oh, that's a, that. See, this one's uh, a nice one. I like that. We're definitely going to find places to use that. Uh, but where's the where's the like, like really massive, huge, super duper one that I had? Oh, this is the one. This is the one. I cannot wait to use that. What do you think? I'm like I'm thinking like maybe like over here or something. How cool would that look as like, like a massive suspension bridge across there? Oh, I think that would look super awesome. Um, assets, if you've got any futuristic assets, let me know. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think of the series. What do you want me to do in the series? What do you want me to focus on? What else do you want me to show you? Uh, do you, like, do you want me to use loads of um, cycling? Put loads of like like loads of cycle lanes in, or do you want me to focus on like more public transport? Do you want trains, subways, uh, hot air balloons? Um, uh, pff, I don't know, monster trucks. <laughs> Whatever you want, leave me a comment. We've got started. We've broken ground. I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Peace out.